Hey, be breadwinner family. Welcome back to another video. My name is Jenny Hanson Lane. I teach passive income strategies, digital marketing. My background is art, fine art. My thesis for my graduation, I made a quilt out of human hair. Am I creepy? Yes. Today we're talking about prompts, prompt engineers. We're talking about creating incredible prompts in mid journey for your artwork, why this matters, but also this is a how to video of how stinking easy it is. Okay. So I'm going to cover what, you know, being a prompt engineer, you don't need a degree. You just need to watch this video and then you're good to go. Even this video is not going to, it's just so easy to get going. The importance of prompt engineering and coloring book artwork examples. I'm going to show you one that's just like, boom, start and the future of coloring books. So the most important thing to remember is who your customer is, right? Like coloring books have been around. They're a staple of all of our childhoods. If we're children, make sure you're watching this with a parent. The process of creating a coloring book is used to be not so simple. And you've seen previous videos where I talk about how long it took to pass a drawing class, right? And I, my degree is in art. So everybody has a different type of talent. And this is a great opportunity for those of us that are willing to put in the work to build an income stream around coloring books. So there are a lot of artists out there that have paved the way for this technology to be incredible as well. So a prompt engineer is the person that's actually writing the prompts. So that's you and me, right? Back in the day, it used to be the teacher that was teaching us how to shade in the lines and, and the right type of lines, lines to draw. And now it, it, it includes all of us. All of us can prompt artificial intelligence to get more information to learn and grow. Okay. So when we're prompting stuff, this includes anything from the actual subject matter and style, but then also like understanding your audience is a huge benefit to prompting accordingly. So once you know your target audience, this is the dream work. It's not that difficult because you understand what the customer wants, right? And that's even talking about like the age difference of a coloring book from a three-year-old to a 13-year-old. So there's going to be a huge need for prompt engineers in the future. And we get to be those if we want to. You are the person that makes sure that the artwork is consistent throughout your pages so they don't look AI generated. You're able to clean them up, but also that you, I mean, even the job of a prompt engineer is going to be very employable. For me, I feel like just being able to create something that didn't exist before, you have something in your mind and then it's on paper is really powerful. Okay. So prompt engineering on mid journey has never been easier. And that's mostly why I'm sharing this video with you. Because once you become a prompt engineer, like you'll, you're like, I'm not an engineer, Jenny. Like if you're rewording things to get your final result better, you're a prompt engineer. So I'm going to share something so mind blowing with you. And I hope that when you see it, you're done making excuses. Okay. So I was on Amazon this morning. And this book came up, RV Road Trip Coloring Book for Adults, Charming Camping Scenes, Featuring Fun RVs, Cheerful Camper Vans, and Scenic Landscape for Stress, Relief, and Relaxation. So let's break down this niche by keywords, okay? RV Road Trip Coloring Book 1, RV Trip Coloring Book for Adults 2. Charming camping scenes, three. RVs, cheerful camper vans, scenic landscapes, four. For stress and relaxation, five. Okay, if you've taken my course, don't make me niche slap you, masterclass. Tons of bonus content in there, but we talk about like, let's get, let's niche down. Niches in the riches. Let's niche down a couple levels to find the money. Okay. That, and this is what they've done. Okay. Now the thing I want to point out is this is six weeks old. This coloring book is six weeks old. Okay. Look at the stats. 
BSR of 10,000. And I love this Chrome extension. This is a book bean Chrome extension. They're getting 22 cells a day. They're making just 60 bucks a day just off one coloring book. Okay. And it's just a month old. You can see the blue line is the BSR ranking and the yellow line is the price. They've, they've never raised the price. If I were them, I'd raise the price. I'd make it instead of $7.99. I'd make it like $8.25. That's just me. That's just me. I want more profits to scale. I want more people to get this coloring book. And if it's priced accordingly, you can do that. So we can see here from the blue line that there was only <laughs> like one day, maybe a full 24 hours on um, April 29th that it got 19 BSR, 19,000 BSR. But like for the most part, it has done really well. It is, it's bringing in 50 bucks a day, right? And that can make a huge difference in your portfolio when you only, you only need one book, right? So this is the inside. I thought this was interesting. They put in their brand on top of the coloring pages. I guess that's smart because of how spammers are out there copying stuff. So, but let's, let's, let me tell you what I did here. Okay. So I want to talk, I'm not going to talk about the future of coloring books because I feel like you're getting it. Okay. I want to prompt. Let's prompt. And you can see here, look at this image that I prompted. Like the eyes are creepy. This would not be a presentation for a child, right? I would need to rework this. I would never put this online on a publishing, on a book that someone paid for. Okay. But let's just, let me show you what I did. So I took the title here because it, I know it has, it's five, it's niche down five times. It's a niche, it's five different keywords. Okay. I put it here. This is my prompt idea. And like, even if I put this into mid journey, look what comes out. Like, yeah, the bottom two pages I couldn't use except for a plus content. What you guys, are you seeing this now? Let's talk about coloring pages because this could work for maybe like an adult that wants shading, but we know that 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 keyword was not a good enough prompt. I need to be a better prompt engineer, but like the lines on the van are nice. And like, I couldn't do it that well. Mountains, like the rule of thirds, it followed all the art rules. So all I we need to do is go back in and give it a little bit more information. Do you see the power of this? So go find those validated keywords. Don't create stuff unless you feel really proud and you would buy it yourself. Please let me know what questions you have about becoming a prompt engineer for Amazon KDP in mid journey, where you can own the images. If you pay for the pro account, please let me know. It sounds like my husband's right outside my office working on the house. So I'm going to let you guys go. So you don't hear, hear any more construction zone sounds. Please leave a comment about prompt engineering and what you need to see more about using mid journey for interior pages. Love you guys. Peace out. Okay, I said goodbye too soon. I actually took the prompt I just showed you. I put it back into Midjourney and I told it mm, black lines and I told it no color and I got a little closer, right? You guys, like this was five minutes. So there's a couple more prompts that I could use and a couple more tips and tricks that I could use to get there. But for the basics, this is it. And let me know if you missed our prompt profit masterclass, because Danny and I have been talking about doing another one that has more detail and more support. If that's something you think you'd be interested in, drop it in the comments. All right, you guys love you. Peace out again.